This video is going to show you how to make a banner for your home page. So let's start with a new image. Let's make it, it's already going to be preset here, but 960 wide, 170 high. And now let's add some images to it. So I'm going to just add the top of this image. So I'm going to use my cropping tool to crop. So just drag it and you see what you have there. And now I'm going to adjust the image to be the same height as my banner, which is 170 pixels high. Now I'm going to select all, copy, go back to my banner, and paste. So now I'm going to use my rectangular marquee with feather set at 15 pixels. I'm going to drag the middle there, select inverse, and then hit clear or delete. and then it feathers the edges very nicely. So let's go add a couple more images to this banner. Let's get Bomber when he was a baby. He was cute. Okay, I'm going to use the whole image, so I'm going to set that to 170 pixels high. Select all, copy, go back to the banner, and paste. So let's feather Bomber a little bit here. And there he is. Let's go get a couple more. Oreo being silly, which is just about all the time. Set that to 170 pixels high. I'm going to use the whole thing. And paste him in there. So let's do the feathering. And then I better scoot things around. So I'm using my layers window there. You click on the layer that you want to move, then you scoot it over. Layers are definitely helpful. So one more, we're going to look for Brutus when he was teeny, which there was a time when he was teeny. I'm going to crop this one. Select all. Oh, that's right, we've got to resize first, 170. Now select all, copy, and paste. Put the marquee effect around him. Yeah, Oreo. Oreo's chiming in here. And then we're going to go ahead and save for the web and devices. as a JPEG with 60% quality, and I'm going to call it my banner. And you are done. You've made a new banner. Ta-da!